gentlemen, as I look around here, actually this is one of the largest turnouts the Academy has ever had. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think I see, yes, it's Arthur Bell, the man who gave you most of your favorite motion pictures. George? Nice to see you, sir. Real pleasure and an honor to have you here at our microphone. By the way, how does it feel to be on this side of the camera? <laughs> Nerve-wracking. And, sir, could I ask, what are you planning next? Well, my only plans are to get in there and see who's going to win. <laughs> Good luck to you. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you, George. George. Pretty good picture, Arnold. You gotta admit that. All that gooey sentimental hoke. Love is forever. Love is beautiful. It's all a bunch of hoke. It may be hoke to you, but I use two hankies every time I saw it. It'll get at least six. I didn't see you come in. We were so busy yakking. What'll it be? Just beer, please. Easton? I don't care. That's the way I feel. As long as it's cold. Just the same, Arnold. There was some good acting in it. Hoke. Just a bunch of hoke. Did you see it? The picture, Heart of Love. It was pretty good. Pretty good. It was a classic. I cried. That's a big deal. I've seen you crying here plenty of times. Over nothing. You'll see who's right. You're going to turn on the awards, aren't you, Barney? We'll take a vote like always. Well, I vote yes. Yeah. Huh? Turn it on. Give Selma a chance to have a good cry. Well, I guess I'm interested. How about you, mister? Either way, I don't care. Motion carried. And no drinks in the mixer tonight, Barney. It knocks the set all cockeyed. Oh, boy. This is the only way to see it comfortable on TV. Last year in the bleachers, a kid sat behind me who brought his lunch. I was combing peanut butter out of my hair for two weeks. Oh, there's Bing. Looks pretty good, don't it? Hey, Barney, break out the champagne. The bowling champs of West Hollywood are here. Barney, you won. Hey, boy, get a load of that. Oh, it's nice. Selma, am I great? Was I in form, huh? <laughs> you didn't think I could do it, huh? I admit that things look pretty bad for a while, but then old Ernie stepped up and kitchoing, kitchoing. Ernie, be quiet. It's starting. I'm talking. So stop talking. The Academy Awards are on. Say those last for Tuesday night. I could use them on my own show. I'm particularly interested in this next award because this is a special Oscar. The Academy has added this to the list because they want to honor someone whose talents are so varied and whose contribution to the industry is so great they couldn't fit him into any one of the existing categories. So tonight, we have a new award for someone who has given most to the motion picture medium throughout the years. It is with a great privilege and a pleasure that we make this presentation the first of his kind to Mr. Arthur Vale. Congratulations. Thank you, Bob. Oh, well. Boy, they sure hate themselves, don't they? Look, if I want to talk, I'm going to talk. Freedom of speech. Right, Barney? Hollywood phonies. I know we're not supposed to make speeches here tonight, but I just can't dismiss this, the most important moment of my life, with a small thank you. Every one of you out there that I've worked with is responsible for a part of this. But this part... The base the whole thing stands on really belongs to someone who isn't here tonight. Maybe a few of you still remember him. I thought I'd never forget him. In 1916, when I first met Kelsey Dutton, I was a very young, very unsuccessful director of very serious pictures. We didn't have the full equipped sound stages that we have today. We shot our pictures anywhere and everywhere. And... Even in those days, we sometimes had trouble with our stars. All right, clear this, please. Get this please, stuff please, out of here. Right. Clear it out, will you? All right, miss. We're ready, Miss Loving. Here. here you go. Wait, I'm you boys clear. Yes. Will you please? Oh, but no, I couldn't go all the way out there. Oh, 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 oh
Miss Loving, you can do it all. In you go. You'll do it. That's the good girl. All right, Mr. Shanks. I don't like it. You don't like it? But, Mr. Shanks, that's the way it's written in the script. That's of no importance to me, Mr. Vale. I know how it should be done. I am of the theater. But, Mr. Shanks, this is motion pictures. This is entirely different. Do you presume to teach me my craft? All right, Mr. Shanks. We'll try it your way. <laughs> Actors. All right. Start your smoke. All right, Mr. Shanks. Ready, Mrs. Loving? All right, now remember you're desperate. There's no escape. Help! Fire, save me! I'm a poor, helpless orphan trapped in a burning building. All right, Mr. Shanks. Read your title. Turn me down, will you? You'll burn, my proud beauty. Help! Save me! I thought she was in trouble. Yes, sir. I think you have possibilities. Come over to the office with me. We sign the contract. Well, I'd like to think it over. <laughs> oh, we're a cinch. Here, sign right here. Wait just a minute. There you are, right there. We made a lot of pictures together, and then many things happened. One of them being sound. 
Talking pictures came in and Kelsey Dutton, a lot of other great stars, went out. The industry lost a great talent, and I lost a very fine friend. I'm sure I can't in any way make up for all the years I was too busy. I can say only that if it weren't for a funny little man in a baggy suit, I might not be on this platform here tonight. And that's why I say, this Oscar really belongs to my silent partner, Kelsey Dutton. I thank you for him. That was so beautiful, I could almost cry. Yeah, me too. You know, that kind of sentiment, it, it really gets you where you live. This Oscar don't really belong to me. It belongs to that great star, Kelsey Dutton. Some great star, I never even heard of him. You never heard of Kelsey Dutton? He was just about the biggest thing in silent pictures, that's all. Oh, yeah? How would you know? You're always telling me how you're 30. I'm 32. I don't remember him. Oh, you don't remember him? He was a big star, wasn't he? I, I mean, I heard he was. Wonder what ever happened to him. Well, he was a big star. I just know he was. He was a big star. The management has informed me they're not responsible for Oscars left over 30 days. After that, they're automatically turned over to Walt Disney. <laughs> There's two left. Two lucky people. Unless they made a mistake in counting. This could be my year. <laughs> Turn that off! Hey, cut that out! You know it jiggles us in! What's the matter with it? I can't get any service around here. I like my beer in a mixer. Put your head on it. Everybody oh. likes the beer in a mixer. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not funny, Ernie. You know we voted fair and square to watch the show. Well, I don't think it was so fair and square. How do you like that? I'm a steady customer in here, ain't I? Is he? Doesn't my vote mean more than some guy comes in here for the first time? Ignore him, mister. He's a real slob. Is that so? Yes. Oh. Ernie, will you settle down? All right, I will settle down. In fact, me and the boys are just liable to settle down in some other joint Wednesday night. How do you like that? All right. All right. All right. Here, mister, I'll give you a fresh one. You can have it in the mixer. Hey! You voted to watch. Sit up and watch. Pretty, why don't you give up? Nobody got a sense of humor around here anymore. Now we will show scenes from the memorable career of Arthur Vale, starting with his first great success with Kelsey Dutton. Look, look, they're running an old-time movie. Thank <laughs> you. 
Don't you know not the movie star's got to get up early in the morning? I haven't made a picture in 30 years. What's the matter? Didn't you ever learn how to talk? Well, not being able to talk sometimes can get you in more trouble than talking too much. What's that supposed to mean? Someday, when you're all grown up, I'll explain it to you. <laughs> Look who's talking about being grown up. You've been 30 so long, the census stopped counting you. Lay off my name. So I'm not 30. I'm 48, almost 49. No kidding. At least it gives me a chance to remember someone like Mr. Dutton. 
instead of that stupid old bowling game. Oh, that's the way it is with all you has-beens, always sticking together. Good thing I'm a lady. Oh. And he's a gentleman. Or he'd take care of you like he did that guy in the picture. Yeah. Huh? No. Oh, lady. Maybe you'd like to try. Uh, hey, Ernie, cut it out, will you? Oh, God. Come on, Ernie. What's the matter with you? All right, lady. Oh, no. oh my God. Oh, my God. I'll okay that pig. Arthur! Ha. Gee, you're a sight for sore eyes. It's been a long time, kid. Too long. Gee, it's good to see you. We were just looking at you on the TV. I sent one as soon as I was sure it was you. Oh. They're waiting for you next door. Who, me? Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't go in there looking like this. You're gonna make a liar out of me? I promised them. Arthur. And from the looks of what's going on over there, we're going to start the whole thing all over again. Be generous, kid. I need the chance to say that I'm sorry. Hmm, nothing to be sorry about. Go ahead, Mr. Dutton. Show them. Go ahead. It might be a nice way to celebrate your 31st birthday at that. Oh, no, no. Come no, on. No, you started it. Dutton, I have no idea. <laughs>